Okay, so today I'm going to clean my smoker and I'm going to show you guys how to clean my smoker out. So I really thought when I opened this thing up it was going to be full of mold. It is not. So I'm super grateful for that. So we have an electric smoker that we just keep out on our um, front porch. And it's just the Master Built Pro. I think I got it at Home Depot. Um, usually on Father's Day and stuff they have them on sale. So that's what I got. Um, I need to clean it though because I want to start smoking stuff because we are home more. So I want to show you guys what I do to clean my smoker. Now, because it doesn't have mold on it this time, I'm just going to use some dish water with just a little bit of um, like Dawn dish soap in it. And then I've got my Method heavy duty degreaser to use on the door part of it because it's just, I don't even know if it's greasy, but it's just charred again from the um, smoke. So I do try to not use anything in here with any kind of um, like scent or anything like that. Sometimes the best way honestly would be to use coconut oil or a different kind of oil to wipe it down. I actually do go in and wipe mine down before we start smoking with it again too, just to kind of season it. Um, but I am going to go ahead and use these if I need to. They're the, um, they're the Dollar Tree Mr. Clean Erasers. They're just the magic eraser things. But I also have my gloves that I got at the Dollar Tree just so I don't get my hands all greasy and stuff and just a couple rags. So I'm going to sit you guys down and clean the smoker out. out I got a little bit of a mess down here to clean up so that's just all the dirty water I didn't change it or anything but I need to go in the kitchen and clean out the grates and I just use just regular dish soap to do that and then so our water basin right here has a tiny tiny hole in it so I put a piece of foil in it like that and put water in it so I'm gonna go in there I'm gonna kind of wipe that up and not wipe it out real hard um, the other year I tried to buy a new one but I couldn't find them to replace it but that's the pan that goes at the bottom <laughs> And obviously, I need to clean that out. So, I'm going to actually go dump that in the trash can out there. And just wipe that out a little bit. Not scrub it real hard. Like I said, I think if you scrub it too hard, you can cause a hole like I did on that one. I'm pretty sure that was my fault. Because um, I let it sit too long in the stuff that I usually just let pans sit in. I think I let it sit too long and it jacked it up. So, I'm going to clean up all this mess. And then I'm going to show you also why I'm out here. Might as well. All I did was wipe off the outside of it. Um just because it had been underneath the cover all season, all winter. So I, like I said, I don't wipe it out to make it perfect because I don't want um, all the smoke flavor to be out of the smoker. So you can clean it off and that all will come off like using a Mr. Clean Eraser like I was, it will all come off. Now the one thing that I do watch, because it does get hot like ours does here and it's starting to bubble, I think it might just be the smoker itself doing that. Um, I do make sure though to get really clean right through here just because it does tend to goop up thicker on this side. So I do like to clean out also inside here where the grates go so they don't get like stuck going in. But like I said, I don't want it to be perfectly clean in there because I want the smoke flavor to stay in there. But wiping it off here and there I don't think is a bad thing, especially if you're changing smoke flavor chips because then you aren't mixing the smoke flavor too much. But I still want it to be smoky in there. So down here on the bottom underneath... Oops, sorry guys. Underneath down here, there was a pile of, you can't really see very well down there, but there was a pile. I also wanna make sure that my coils are not covered by anything. So I checked that and they're fine and nothing was clogging it. But down there in the back, kind of where the smoke goes out, there was a pile of that junk that's sitting on there. I actually picked up and dumped it over there by accident, but um, that was down underneath there. I wanna make sure that that wasn't clogged or anything. So I've got that all cleaned out down there. Um, but that's just like sauce probably drippings because I make a lot of meatloaf in my smoker and I'm actually going to share my 
meatloaf recipe with you guys. It is super easy and I'll show you how I stick it in here and keep the drippings from falling down everywhere. But it is an amazing meatloaf. It's great and I never thought I would smoke my meatloaf, but it's amazing. I'm probably gonna smoke the meatloaf and I'm gonna smoke some potatoes. So I'll share both those recipes with you guys today. But I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get this stuff all cleaned up down here and get it all put back together. these potatoes so what I do is I put my potatoes in the microwave so I just clean them off I poke them and I usually wrap them in paper towels like one paper towel a piece but because I'm trying to not waste things right now I'm not gonna do that so I just stuck it in here underneath the plate cover and I heat them up so like those four potatoes are probably gonna take like eight to ten minutes to soften up I just need the potatoes to be soft I swear they do not cook right if you do not soften them up so even if I stick them in the oven, I usually stick them in the oven at 375 for like 40 minutes until like the top part's like all bubbly and crispy and stuff like that. But what I do is I'll get the potatoes out, I'll cut them up, and then I will stick them in here, just the potatoes. And then I make a mixture of just sour cream, bacon bits, ranch dressing, shredded cheese, and it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So one cup to one cup to one cup to one cup. So that's Super easy to do. Yeah, mix it up with some salt and pepper. And once the potatoes are in here, then I'll cover it and I'll show you guys how I do that. And then I just stick it in the smoker for as long as I stick the um, whatever meat I'm smoking. So tonight I think I'm gonna do a meatloaf. So I will share that recipe with you guys too. Thank you. 